Hey my friend, Scott Grove here. Uh, lesson number 13, it's some more theory, but this is where it becomes fun. It's a whole different theory based on the exact same principle of what you did with all the numbers before, but now we're going to use them in a totally different way. And these numbers that I'm going to throw at you are now not going to be parts of chords, a third and a fifth and a minor and a it's going to be, um, actually, people could put these chords up in the air and you can follow them. They could go like, go from a 1 to a 4, back to a 1, to a 5, back to a 1. What's that mean? I'll show you. This is how people in Nashville do it and people in the entire world do this. Um, you can stand there and not know a, a song, but the singer could be playing or whatever and fla have his hand behind his back flashing just numbers at you with one hand and you could just follow along and play. It's going to be that easy. So let's get in on that and again the theory that you have learned all them numbers and everything that is theory for learning how to figure out chords. This theory is how to figure out songs. What's, what chords can be in a song and what chords you can definitely omit. Okay, so if you're listening and trying to figure something out, this definitely gives you a list of chords that can or cannot, will or will not be in that song. So you can just try these chords and if those don't, if one don't work, the next one will. And then you can say, well, these other ones just flat out cannot, via theory, <laughs> be there. Okay, so let's work on that. Hey, excuse me. <laughs> okay. So let's go to the G because it's easy to work out of, easy to put on the uh, old fretboard here. Okay, before we learn the one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. Okay, this kind of works out the same way, except totally different. <laughs> okay, now these are going to be naming chords instead. Okay. The first thing you're going to learn are one, four, five songs. You're like, what? Okay. Um, if you're in the key of G, the song is in G. Okay. And different chords are going to change. There's going to be a number for those chords and you're going to understand it. You're like, sure I am. Yep, you are. Because it's this. One, two, three, four. Okay. The easiest way to remember this one, four, five junk, um, if you're in the key, whatever key you're in is going to be one. That's called the root. Home base, whatever they want to call it, they're usually going to call it the root, but you could guarantee it's going to be the one. Hey, go back to the one. That's that familiar phrase you're going to hear. So we're going to be in G, playing along. Everybody says go to the four. I know that means go to the C. Why? One, two, three, four is a C, but you play the whole chord. Back to the one, which was the G. Now I'll go to the five. Why do you go to D? One, two, three, four, five, that's a D. Okay, so we got one, four is always going to be straight down. There's C, that's a four. Back to one. And five is always going to be where the four is, but just two up this way. Always. So, you're playing G. If you're in the key of G, just hurry up and figure it out real quick, because you'll get it a lot quicker than what I'm getting ready to give you. But you're going to be going one. Then you just look at it and tell what the next chord is going to be a four. It's always going to be straight down. One string. So, it's going to be a G. A four is going to be a C. A one again is going to be a G. And a five is just going to be two frets up, boing, right up to your D. So you got G, C, and D. One, four, five. So if I say one, we're going to the four, okay? Back to one. Go up to the five chord. Go to the four. One, stay on the one, five, 
F. Go back to the one. I won. <laughs> That's how people actually do songs. I'm going to tune up. Now oh, there's the culprit. Good old G string. I'm old enough I could say G string without laughing now. Okay, so that's the way it's done. Now if you look at it another way, which is kind of like this. That's another way of looking at things. Same thing with, okay, now we go to A. Now we're going to be in A. That's going to be the one. That's the root. That's the key we're going to play on. Okay? And I'll show you that in a second. Right after this. Um, same thing. It's, if you're looking for the name of the three chords, it's going to be A. Because we're in the key of A. This is home base now. Everything has changed. That is one. The four is straight down. What is it? That's a D. The five is going to be two up. That's an E. There you go. One, four, one, four and five. So we know it's going to be A, D, and E. So that's a one now. That's a four and that's a five. So for playing along. One. these are called okay so one four and five uh, the best way to do these again I played this a long time ago um, that's all the 50 stuff you'll know if you have it right because you could play uh, what's called a power chord okay let's go to the A since we we're just there here's another way to play an A chord we play a one with a five because you know it's just down and up one a one five and an eight because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just those three notes. And you just bang on those three. And if I, that's the one. Now we know the four is straight down. You take that exact thing, like your fingers are glued together. Just move it straight down. All of them down one string. And that's to your four. There's your one. Now down. See, it was up here. Now just move everything down one string. Because it was a f A. Now it's going to be a D if you move everything down. I know, it used to be here. You're learning different places to play it now, right? And then we go to four, we just go straight down. We go to five, you just know it's two frets this way. Keep them glued. something you got to be excited about because we have to take this uh, gonna play the one chord three times the four chord twice the five chord three times again your four chord twice your four chord only gets two every time on this song this is every 50 song almost it's 50 percent of every 50 song <laughs> okay so three times on the one that's how many times we're going to strum down and chop it off staccato like that everything will be down strokes and shutting them up staccato so three times here move it down to four up to the five three times back to the four twice Pretty groovy, huh? So you can do that in any key. That's one, four, and five. And I want you to do that. Just get used to doing it. If you're in F, you're still playing just this. These three notes, power chord, 
a 1, a 5, and then an 8, which is an octave above. It's just a 1 again, but an octave higher. Okay, so every song in the world, now you can play it that way if you want to. I showed you cocaine a little earlier, same thing. Okay, E. get to the E, D, C, B. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's your one if you're in the key V. So here's your dominant seventh because we went backward two frets. Okay, so you'll never go back one fret. You're always going to do the seven. One, seven, um, six, five. That's the way all that stuff works. All right. So you start calling numbers for chords. So you start getting used to that whole major scale, and this stuff will start making sense. When you're playing chords, again, and somebody calls a seven, it's always just going to be a chord that is two frets behind because we're calling chord names now. We're not calling anything else. So if you're in D, and that's the key we're in, that's a 1 or an 8. Remember that can also be an 8 because if we go and then we say okay 7, it doesn't mean that we're going to play a D7. No, that's the other thing. We're doing chords now. Okay, so a 7 chord, okay, is you take the D, move it back two frets, <laughs> What note is that? That's a C note, so that means we play a C chord. We're not trying to play a D7, we're trying to play a C chord. So we get one or eight. And that's the easiest way if you go to, okay, we're going to the seven. And that means just whatever is two frets behind your eight. You can go backward that way because it's a seven. Seven's the closest thing to an eight. It's just a quicker way to get there instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, counting up and doing that. Pretty soon all this stuff will become very natural because there's only, what, seven notes in the major scale. Then it becomes eight, which is one again. So it just keeps, it's the only scale you're going to need, <laughs> period. It just helps you figure out all this stuff. So if you do a one and then a seven. We got here a G, Y, D, one, two, three, four. That's your four. So you got a one, seven, and then a four, and that gives you Seven four, okay. So that's those little rock songs. Um, oh, Werewolves of London and the old Kid Rock song. It's about the same thing. And Sweet Home Alabama and um, uh, taking care of business. You got to. You're in C. Now a seven. other very opposite end of the one four five meaning okay can you see how that's starting to work okay now um, I'm going to continue on this basic thing and then the next one we're going to add in um, the stuff that's going to be minors and so forth and the other chords that could probably be in a song so if you're doing this 50s stuff or anything like it, like Johnny Be Good or something. Four, back to one. Five, four, and one. That's four, four and a half, and five. <laughs> They're called.
called passing tones or what, whatever, you know, passing tones, that's what they're going to call them, a passing chord. So you're actually going four, four sharp, five, or four, four and a half, five. I love saying four and a half because it's so country and it don't exist, but it gets the point across. So if you're going to play country, say four and a half just because it's funny. <laughs> but you'll hear that a lot. And that's always kind of cool is when you're coming off this five, it's to start like at a seven, major seven. But just think of it as not that, but just one fret behind and go slide into your one. Smoking in the boys' room. Then you sit there and do that kind of thing. Okay, so those are the type of things you're going to run into. The other things that you're going to have are generally going to be minors. Okay, not people that work in the coal mines or people that are under 18. We have the two chord, the three chord, and the six chord to worry about still. So we got. We're still in A. There's the one chord. We know the two chord. So that's going to be, just move it up to the two, but it's going to be minor. Chances are about 80% that it's going to be minor. That just means lift off the middle finger. So we got one. Two minor. If we want three, one, two, three, C sharp. Minor. Oddly enough, you don't lift it up for a minor as close of where the B string is placed. But there's three minor. And then four major. Five. Now six is really cool. Because it's like, how do I get it? It's three lower than one. Okay? So if you know that seven... Here's the best way to do it because you're going to count it wrong. If you, people go one, two, three, no, that's only two down. You just count it here. You have to go back first. One, two, three. Okay? So think of here's one, seven is two down, six is one more down, then lift off the middle finger, makes it minor. Okay, so now you got. If you want to use normal chords, think of what you're playing. Write them down. A, then we went to F sharp minor, and then 4 and 5 are D and E. So we got A, F sharp minor, and then D is 4, 5, It's always just one fret back, then down to your sixth minor. Okay, so very cool to think about. If you're doing it in C, okay, if you look at it, C is the key. Go down one F, and then up two is G. C F G. If you take your C and go, there's back to your seventh, and then back one more, it gives you your six. The six is going to be minor. So you got the same thing. Here's one, because you're in C. Six minor. Four. Modal chord. That's how that goes. I will get a lot more of those on the next lesson, which will be number 14. Okay, so that's your theory so far. We'll do part two of the theory on the chords and make this all really drive it home on uh, lesson 14 coming up whenever you hit play. Okay, catch you in two and two. That makes six. <laughs>